Dive into the chilling depths of the ocean as we unveil the five worst shark attacks of 2023. Stories of peril, resilience, and the raw power of nature emerge from the untamed waters. Witness the harrowing encounters that sent shockwaves through coastal communities, highlighting the relentless danger posed by these formidable predators. Brace yourself for a journey into the heart of the ocean's most ferocious moments, where survival is a matter of seconds and the line between predator and prey blurs beneath the waves. In the coastal haven of Walker's Rock Beach on Eyre Peninsula, Australia, where the ocean meets the land in a rhythmic dance, a community of surfers, young and old, gathered to ride the waves. However, the backdrop to their aquatic adventures wasn't just the soothing sound of waves and the shadowy presence of sharks in these waters, an area known locally as Great White Territory. Among those embracing the surf and salt air was Simon Bacanello, a 46-year-old schoolteacher who recently made the city of Elliston his home. Having relocated in January, Simon dedicated his days to teaching math, science, and physical education at Elliston Area School, quickly becoming a beloved figure in the local community. With its rolling waves and expansive shoreline, Walker's Rock Beach served as the canvas for Simon's newfound life in Elliston. The beach, described by locals as a place where great whites roam freely, hosted more than a dozen surfers on that fateful Saturday morning, March 13, 2023. Simon was one of them, a passionate teacher enjoying a leisurely surf, embracing the ocean's vastness. As the day unfolded, Simon's interactions with the community highlighted his generous nature. Colleagues and students alike adored him, recognizing the dedicated teacher who felt like a friend of a decade despite his brief five-month tenure. His commitment to his role at Elliston Area School resonated, leaving a positive mark on those around him. The atmosphere at Walker's Rock Beach mirrored the peaceful coexistence between locals and the untamed sea. Families, children, and surf enthusiasts dotted the shoreline, basking in the beauty of the Australian coast. The rhythmic ebb and flow of waves hinted at the tranquility of a typical day by the ocean, a stark contrast to the impending tragedy. As Simon prepared to catch a few more waves before calling it a day, the gentle camaraderie among surfers painted a picture of community, a shared passion for the ocean and the thrill of riding its waves. Little did they know beneath the surface, an apex predator patrolled silently, an enormous great white shark, a patron of these waters, its movements hidden from the unsuspecting surfers. Simon's ordinary day, filled with the routines of teaching and the joys of surfing, would soon take an unexpected turn, leaving an indelible mark on the coastal tapestry of Walker's Rock Beach. Little did he know that the peace he found in the waves would soon give way to a tumultuous encounter with the ocean's apex predator, altering the course of his life in the most unforeseen way. As Simon continued to enjoy the waves, the tranquil ambiance morphed into chaos when an enormous, great white shark made its presence known. The surf Surfers, including children, became unwitting witnesses to a scene that would forever be etched in their memories. In his final moments, Simon exhibited selfless heroism, attempting to warn his fellow surfers of the impending danger. Amid the thrashing waves, he urged them, don't worry, get yourself to shore. It was a testament to his character, a teacher and protector to the core, attempting to shield others from the imminent threat. The exact sequence of events leading to Simon's disappearance remained elusive. Witnesses recalled the ominous thrashing of the waves as the great white shark circled, leaving the surfers, including including Simon, vulnerable in the vast expanse of the ocean. The reality of the situation was stark, and as the chaos unfolded, Simon vanished from sight. The abrupt and tragic turn of events left the surfers in shock, grappling with the sudden disappearance of their fellow companions. The relentless search efforts that followed aimed to uncover the fate of Simon Bacanello, whose commitment to the safety of others had defined his final moments in the tumultuous waters off Walker's Rock Beach. Jaden Miller among the surfers in the water that day recounted the harrowing sight of Simon tombstoning, a term describing a surfer knocked off their board and dragged deep underwater. Now standing upright like a headstone, the surfboard marked where Simon fought against the unseen force beneath the waves. As the news of the shark attack spread, emergency services and police descended upon the beach, launching a search for Simon. The brutal attack occurred just a little over 100 feet offshore, and witnesses saw the shark thrashing around in the aftermath. The community, once united by the love of the sea, now faced the stark reality of a missing teacher, a cherished member lost to the ocean's depths. Despite the valiant efforts of rescuers scouring the waters with boats and helicopters, Simon remained missing. Pieces of wetsuit and chunks of polystyrene, possibly from his surfboard, were discovered, further reinforcing the grim reality of the situation. The search focused on areas near the beach, where it was 
was believed that any remnants in the water would wash ashore. The tragic incident not only sent shockwaves through the tight-knit community of Elliston, but also prompted a broader conversation about the coexistence of humans and the marine life that inhabits the coastal waters. The serene image of Walker's Rock Beach, once synonymous with leisurely surfing and community bonds, now bore the weight of an unforeseen tragedy. Simon Bacanello's absence left an indelible void in the lives of those who knew him. A somber acknowledgement of his impact rippled through Elliston as the search continued. The principal, Chad Fleming, expressed the community's deep admiration and affection for Simon, describing him as an absolute gem of a bloke and a dedicated teacher who, in a short span, forged connections that felt like years of friendship. Simon's family, grappling with the sudden and heartbreaking loss, issued a brief statement expressing gratitude for the support of the community and requesting privacy as they processed this tragic event. Walker's Rock Beach, once a picturesque haven, now stood as a poignant reminder of the delicate balance between the allure of the ocean and the inherent risks it carries. The aftermath of the shark attack echoed beyond the coastal waters, prompting reflection on the unpredictable nature of the sea and the importance of vigilance in regions known for the presence of apex predators. The legacy of Simon Bacanello, a teacher who gave his life trying to protect others, will forever be intertwined with the waves and sands of Walker's Rock Beach. In this place, the beauty of nature and the harsh realities of life converged in an unexpected and tragic tale. In the sun-soaked waters near the southern Caribbean archipelago of San Andres, Providencia, and Santa Catalina, an underwater realm unfolds, where the rhythm of the ocean orchestrates a dance of life. Amidst this aquatic symphony, Colombian freediver Christian Castano Villa immersed himself in the depths, navigating the azure expanse where sharks, particularly the oceanic white tip, held a silent dominion. On the vibrant morning of July 18, 2023, the tranquil Nirvana dive site's quiet sea cradled another day's promise beneath the sun's gentle caress. The archipelago, a UNESCO biosphere reserve adorned with three islands, five atolls, and vibrant coral reefs, painted a picturesque backdrop for the unfolding narrative. Christian Castano Villa, a 38-year-old freediver of remarkable prowess, inhabited this coastal haven, known for claiming 25 Colombian freediving records and adorned with national rankings by the governing body, ADA, Awareness, Interest, Desire, and Action. He stood as a test to the harmony between man and the ocean. As a national team member, his days were a harmonious blend of training and preparing for the upcoming CMAS Depth Outdoor World Championships in Roatan. The coastal breeze whispered tales of the oceanic white tips that occasionally graced these waters, creating an element of surprise for those venturing beneath the surface. The Colombian agency Coralina, entrusted with the sustainable development of the archipelago, attested to these encounters, noting the presence of several oceanic white tips that had intrigued and surprised the community of freedivers. Christian, a figure deeply connected to the rhythmic pulse of the sea, embraced his daily routine, a life entwined with the ocean's embrace. His existence, a harmonious blend of freediving expertise and camaraderie with fellow athletes, unfolded against the backdrop of the vibrant Colombian coastal life. And so, in the shimmering waters of San Andres, Providencia, and Santa Catalina, the tale of Christian Castano Villa and the oceanic white tips began a story that would echo through the currents and reverberate beyond the coral reefs. Amid the oceanic ballet where waves met the horizon in a seamless embrace, Christian Castano Villa continued his underwater sojourn. The ocean, a silent witness to his many exploits, suddenly revealed a different facet as an enormous oceanic white tip shark, a denizen of the deep, made its presence known. The free divers, caught in the ballet of the currents, found themselves sharing the stage with these majestic creatures. It was midday on the 18th of July when the harmony of the underwater world gave way to chaos. The oceanic white tip, propelled by curiosity rather than malice, approached Christian. In a moment that felt like an eternity, the shark, guided by its instincts, engaged with one of the freedivers. The peaceful dance became a heart-pounding struggle as the shark, inquisitive yet decisive, bit Christian. The tranquility of the deep turned into a battleground, with the shark's curiosity leading to a fleeting but intense encounter. During the underwater turmoil, Christian, displaying an incredible presence of mind, managed to communicate with his fellow athletes. The shark's bite, born out of curiosity, left Christian wounded but conscious. The freediver's resilience echoed louder than the 
the thrashing waves, Christian seized control of the situation with remarkable courage, despite the bites on his legs and hands. Even during the oceanic turbulence, he pulled himself back onto the dive boat, his limbs responding to his commands. Now a specter beneath the waves, the shark lingered, a silent witness to man's resilience in its domain. The agency's quick response team, poised for such unforeseen moments, swiftly intervened, turning the potential tragedy into a tale of survival. Blood smeared the side of the vessel, a testament to the dance between predator and prey. As the video captured the aftermath, a wounded but committed Christian nursing his injuries, the vast ocean stretching beyond, and the shark a shadow in the deep. The intricacies of this underwater encounter came to light. The shark's bite, while a moment of terror, became a catalyst for a swift and coordinated rescue mission. Christian, a teacher of the art of free diving and a member of Columbia's national team, had faced the unpredictable, but his spirit remained unbroken. He was swiftly transported to the mainland for medical attention, and his wounds were stitched without complications. The hospital bed became a temporary stage for his recovery, and a photo shared on Instagram depicted bandaged hands and leg, accompanied by the light-hearted boast, you you should see how the shark turned out. As the waves carried Christian back to the shore, Coralina, the guardian of these coastal waters, reminded the community about the delicate balance between humans and the denizens of the deep. Sharks, protected by national and local regulations, inhabit their natural habitat, and humans, visitors to this domain, bear the responsibility of respect and caution. The incident brought forth echoes of a previous tragedy in March 2022, when an Italian swimming instructor lost his life to a tiger shark near the San Andres Islands. Coralina, in response, had caught against the dumping of animal carcasses to attract sharks for tourism. The delicate equilibrium of this underwater world where humans intersect with nature demanded respect and thoughtful coexistence. In the wake of Christian's encounter, Coralina, as vigilant stewards of the marine park, pledged to remain watchful for any further signs of shark activity. Their message transcended the incident, emphasizing the need for a harmonious relationship between the coastal community and the ocean's inhabitants. As the tale of Christian Castano Villa unfolded, it carried the essence of resilience, the interplay between man and nature, and the delicate dance of life beneath the surface. The southern Caribbean archipelago, adorned with its three islands, five atolls, and vibrant coral reefs, remained a testament to the intricate tapestry woven by the ocean, where stories of survival resonated through the azure depths. The sun dipped low over the Swan River in North Fremantle, casting a warm glow on the banks where teenagers gathered, seeking solace from the summer heat. Among them was Stella Berry, a vibrant 16-year-old known for her creativity and love for the ocean. The river, usually a source of joy and play, held an unexpected danger beneath its serene surface. Stella, an aspiring marine enthusiast, was no stranger to the water's embrace. Her connection with the aquatic world had once garnered attention when, in 2017, she and a classmate devised an ingenious design for a shark-free ocean pool at Cottesloe Beach. The project showcased Stella's early knack for problem-solving and her commitment to ensuring the safety of swimmers. As the clock ticked towards 3.30 p.m. on that fateful Saturday, February 4, 2023, Stella and her friends basked in the picturesque scene along the riverbanks. The tranquil waters of the Swan River mirrored the cloud-dappled sky, creating a perfect backdrop for an afternoon of leisure. The group, captivated by the allure of nature, spotted a pod of dolphins gracefully navigating the river's currents. Drawn by the enchanting of the moment, Stella, always eager to embrace the beauty around her, decided to join the dolphins in the water. Little did she know that this impromptu encounter would unveil a tragic twist in the serene narrative. Bystanders, blissfully unaware, heard the river's melody disrupted by a sudden piercing scream. The idyllic ambiance shattered, giving way to chaos as a shark lurking beneath the surface found its moment. Stella's joyous leap into the water turned into a heart-wrenching struggle, with the predator clamping onto her leg. Once filled with laughter, and camaraderie, the riverbanks echoed with desperate cries for help. Shocked by the sudden turn of events, witnesses rushed to the scene, their frantic efforts to rescue Stella becoming a sad symphony of despair. Stella Berry, the teenager whose vision once aimed at creating safe spaces in the ocean, now faced an unforeseen peril in the very element she sought to protect. The river, witness to her past triumphs and the joy she found in its depths, now became the backdrop of a tragedy that would forever alter the tapestry of her young life. The chaotic echoes of the riverbank painted a stark contrast to the peaceful waters that had lured Stella moments ago. Bystanders Luke Smith and Joshua Warwick, who had been swimming in the same spot just moments before, were thrust into a harrowing scene of tragedy. 
Stella's screams tore through the air, prompting Luke and Joshua to turn towards the water. They witnessed a nightmare unfolding, a girl, once full of life, now entangled in a struggle with a predator beneath the river's surface. Fins sliced through the water, a chilling reminder that danger lurked where innocence had prevailed. As emergency services rushed to the scene, the desperate attempts to resuscitate Stella became a heart-wrenching tableau of anguish. The once carefree atmosphere now carried the weight of a community grappling with the sudden loss of a vibrant soul. The devastating reality sank in as Stella, with critical injuries, was pulled from the river. Despite the valiant efforts of witnesses and paramedics, she succumbed to the brutal attack, leaving those who knew her in shock and sorrow. The Swan River, usually a place of leisure and joy, bore witness to a tragedy that sent ripples of grief through the community. Stella's dreams of running marathons and living in Europe after school were abruptly shattered, leaving her family devastated, and the community mourning a promising life cut short. Stella's legacy, however, extended beyond the tragic events of that Saturday. In 2017, her innovative spirit earned her recognition for envisioning a shark-free ocean pool, a testament to her commitment to the safety of fellow swimmers. The water she sought to protect had become the stage for a heart-wrenching farewell. As Stella's passing spread, friends and fellow students gathered along the riverbanks, creating a makeshift memorial site to pay tribute to the spirited teenager. The sounds of crying and wailing resonated, blending with the gentle lapping of the river, a poignant melody of grief. Shenton College, where Stella was a student, expressed deep sadness over the loss, acknowledging the profound impact her death had on the school community. Once a backdrop to Stella's life and achievements, the river now carried the weight of collective sorrow. In the wake of this tragic event, questions lingered about the safety of recreational spaces, reminding everyone that nature in all its beauty holds an inherent unpredictability. Stella Berry, a young visionary who once aimed to create havens of safety, became a poignant reminder that sometimes even the best laid plans cannot shield us from the capriciousness of the natural world. Lighthouse Beach near Port Macquarie, where the waves danced in a rhythmic melody, beckoning surfers seeking solace on Friday, August 25, 2023. Among them, Toby Begg, a 44-year-old father of two, embarked on his usual ritual of chasing waves, unaware that destiny lurked beneath the surface. As the sun painted the sky with hues of warmth, Toby, a skilled builder and the backbone of his young family, prepared to conquer the waves. The air buzzed with the camaraderie of fellow surfers, and the sea whispered secrets only they could comprehend. Toby's day unfolded like any other, a routine woven with the simple joys of riding the waves and savoring the ocean's embrace. Little did he know that the tranquil morning would become a chapter etched in the annals of his life, altering its course in an unforeseen way. A snapshot frozen in time captured by a beachside photographer revealed Toby with his surfboard, a companion in his aquatic adventures. Unbeknownst to him just meters away, a silent menace, a four-meter-long great white shark prepared to rewrite the script of Toby's existence. The photo, a haunting prelude to the impending tragedy, showcased Toby holding his surfboard while a fellow surfer cast a watchful eye on a subtle ripple in the water. He was suspended, heavy with the gravity of what was about to unfold. Before the fateful encounter, Toby's day was a canvas painted with routine strokes. Waves conquered, laughter shared, and the sea embraced. The serenity, however, was disrupted by an unexpected visitor from the depths below. This snapshot of normalcy serves as a poignant backdrop, setting the stage for the unforeseen events that would soon unfold. Events that would test Toby's resilience and redefine his relationship with the waves. The harmony of waves was shattered on that fateful Friday morning as the four-meter-long great white shark closed in on Toby Begg, its silent approach masked by the rhythm of the sea. The tranquil tableau turned tumultuous as Toby, still unaware of the impending threat, found himself entangled in a struggle that would alter the course of his life. In 30 seconds, the dance between man and nature unfolded, an intense, primal tussle beneath the surface. The ocean, once Toby's sanctuary, became the battleground for survival. The shark, a formidable force of nature, clashed with a determined father, surfer, and pillar of his family. Witnesses on the shore, eyes widened with disbelief, could only watch as Toby grappled with the relentless predator. The sea, now tainted with echoes of a struggle, bore witness to a confrontation that transcended the serene facade it usually presented. Fellow surfers, connected by the unspoken brotherhood of the waves, rushed to Toby's aid. The air pulsed with urgency as they pulled him from the water, a scene of both heroism and horror unfolding on the shores of Lighthouse Beach. The once pristine surfboard, now a casualty of the encounter, bore witness to the violence beneath the surface. Toby, now ashore, faced the aftermath of the encounter severe injuries from his waist down, a life forever changed in the blink of an eye. 
Having retreated to the depths, the shark left a void that echoed with the weight of the struggle. Paramedics summoned to the scene worked against time to stabilize Toby. His critical condition sent shockwaves through the community that had, until then, found solace in the predictable embrace of the sea. The echoes of the incident reverberated beyond the shoreline, reaching the hospital corridors where Toby fought for his life. The swift actions of an off-duty emergency doctor, coincidentally present on the beach, played a crucial role. With leg ropes from surfboards transformed into tourniquets, the doctor worked to stem the tide of life force escaping Toby's battered limbs. As the ambulance raced toward Port Macquarie Base Hospital, Toby's fate hung in the balance. The resilience he displayed during those crucial moments, the collective efforts of witnesses, surfers, and the medical team formed the fragile thread holding on to hope. Toby Begg's odyssey did not conclude on the shores of Lighthouse Beach. Instead, it embarked on a new chapter, one defined by resilience, recovery, and the unwavering support of a community that rallied in the face of adversity. Transported from Port Macquarie to Newcastle's John Hunt Hunter Hospital, Toby underwent a series of surgeries in a bid to salvage what remained of his legs. The medical journey ahead loomed uncertain, with a maze of procedures and rehabilitation stretched far beyond the horizon. His brother-in-law, Chris Lenahan, initiated an online fundraiser, a digital lifeline that swiftly garnered support from compassionate souls across the virtual landscape. The financial assistance sought not only to alleviate the burden of medical bills, but also to serve as a beacon of solidarity, a testament to the collective strength of humanity. In the hospital, hospital corridors, Toby's family grappled with the magnitude of the situation. A skilled builder and the primary provider for his family, Toby faced not only the physical toll of the shark's assault, but also the daunting prospect of redefining his life. His partner Tracy and their two children clung to hope, their lives forever altered by the ripple effect of that fateful encounter. Surf lifesavers armed with technology employed drones to locate the elusive shark responsible for the attack. The potential euthanization of the predator loomed as a stark reminder of the delicate balance between human presence and the untamed realm of the ocean. Two weeks into this harrowing journey, Toby's spirit remained unbroken. A conversation with an emergency room doctor who aided in his rescue revealed a man resilient in the face of unimaginable odds. Considering the gravity of his situation, Toby's high spirits painted a portrait of a fighter determined to reclaim his life. As Toby continued his battle for recovery, the waves of support from friends, family, and strangers formed a tide of resilience, reminding everyone that even in the face of nature's ferocity, the indomitable human spirit prevailed. Rockaway Beach, a serene stretch along the Queen's shoreline, played host to the unfolding drama on a seemingly ordinary day, August 7, 2023. The sun painted the sky in hues of warmth as beachgoers reveled in the gentle embrace of the waves. Among them, Tatyana Koltunyuk, a 65-year-old Ukrainian woman, embarked on what she envisioned as a leisurely swim, a pursuit of joy and escape. Tatyana, a retiree with dreams as vast as the ocean she yearned to traverse, immersed herself in the waters off Rockaway Beach. Her daughter, Dasha Koltunyuk, and son-in-law Greg Kalor shared the joy of this sunny escapade, blissfully unaware of the impending turn of events. The Koltunyuk family, immigrants to the U.S., carried a poignant history. Tatyana, having lost her husband shortly after their arrival, forged a life marked by resilience. Unable to continue her work as a marine engineer, she toiled tirelessly to provide her daughter with opportunities for cultural enrichment and education. As the sun cast its golden glow, Tatyana's aspirations intertwined with the rhythm of the ocean. Little did she know that the tranquility would soon be shattered, and her life altered in the blink of an eye. The coastal tranquility, however, masked an unseen menace. The last shark attack along Rockaway Beach had become a distant memory, dating back to 1953. Yet on this summer day, a shadow lurked beneath the waves, a reminder that nature's unpredictability can disrupt even the most serene moments. As the family reveled in the simple pleasures of the day, unaware of the impending ordeal, the beach bustled with life. Rockaway Beach, accustomed to tranquility, became the stage for a rare and shocking occurrence, a shark attack, a rare event echoing through the decades. The tranquility of Rockaway Beach, shattered by the unseen, sets the scene for a gripping saga that transcends the ordinary and delves into the extraordinary, where survival becomes the ultimate triumph. As the family reveled in the simple pleasures of the day, unaware of the impending ordeal, the beach bustled with life. Rockaway Beach, accustomed to tranquility, became the stage for a rare and shocking occurrence, a shark attack, a rare event echoing through the decades. The tranquility of Rockaway Beach, shattered by the unseen, sets the scene for a gripping saga that transcends the ordinary and delves into the extraordinary, where survival becomes the ultimate triumph. The idyllic swim transformed into a struggle against the primal instincts of the ocean. Tatiana, 
embraced by the water she loved, was face to face with a predator. The tranquility shattered as the shark, its form concealed beneath the waves, closed in on its unsuspecting prey. Tatiana's encounter with the shark, vividly remembered by her daughter Dasha, unfolded in seconds. A force bumped into her, an ominous sign of the impending danger. In that pivotal moment, the ocean betrayed its peaceful facade, revealing a creature of teeth and hunger. The shark, a silent hunter, assumed a belly-up posture, a chilling spectacle for Tatiana. Its teeth, described as green and dirty, manifested the primal nature of the deep-sea predator. Once a place of serenity, the ocean transformed into a battleground where survival hung in the balance. The ferocious attack left Tatiana with a profound wound, a grim testament to the untamed power of nature. In the struggle for survival, Tatiana, undeterred by pain, counted to nine, a spontaneous act that propelled her back to the safety of the shore. The shark's relentless assault, however, had already left its mark. As the harrowing encounter unfolded, the beach became a scene of chaos and heroism. Quick-thinking police officers, recognizing the severity of the situation, fashioned a makeshift tourniquet to stem the bleeding, a crucial act that became a lifeline for Tatiana. The profound gash exposing arteries, muscle, and femur painted a grim picture of the battle she faced. The surgeon, confronted with the severity of Tatiana's injuries, expressed disbelief at the extent of the damage. The shark's brutal assault left an indelible mark on Tatiana's body, and her journey to recovery would be a protracted one. The Rockaway Beach, unaccustomed to such incidents in recent memory, witnessed a rare event, a clash between a woman's resilience and the primal force of the ocean. The attack, a stark reminder of nature's unpredictability, impacted Tatiana, her family, and the community that reveled in the coastal tranquility. In the aftermath of the harrowing encounter, Tatiana Koltunyuk's journey to recovery unfolded with remarkable resilience. A testament to her indomitable spirit, she faced a series of surgeries, seven in four weeks, with a determination that echoed her life's journey. The surgeon, confronted with the gravity of her injuries, witnessed a remarkable fight against the odds. As the weeks unfolded, the challenges ahead became apparent. Years of intense physical therapy awaited Tatiana, a journey that would test her endurance and resilience. The support from a community moved by her ordeal manifested in a GoFundMe campaign, a collective effort to ease the financial burdens that accompanied her recovery. The funds raised are a testament to the compassion of those touched by Tatiana's story, surpassing expectations. A community is rallying behind a woman who has become a symbol of strength in the face of adversity. Tatiana Koltunyuk, a survivor in the truest sense, became a living testament to the unpredictable, untamed beauty of the ocean, a beauty that, despite its perils, continues to captivate and awe.